Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Ebit, and today is another exciting AMSOIL engine flush. And this is on a diesel truck, and uh, this is one we've never done before. We got the Titan XD. We're here with Tom. Hey, guys. And this is his little angel. And uh, it's amazing. They come in different sizes, different shapes. Some go off road, some race on race tracks. You just never know what you got. But today, we're doing the power combo. We're doing the diesel injector clean and lubricant, cleaning the valves injectors. Right now, Tom's putting in the engine flush. And what this engine flush is, go ahead, Tom, you can pour in. This is a cleaner that actually thins out the diesel oil, gets rid of the soot, the contaminants, all the stuff around the timing chain, oil cooler ports around the rings, and this helps uh, loosen sticky valves, uh, all different parts that get this gunk and build up over the courses of the years and it's very normal and uh, also this is a turbo vehicle the cummins turbo diesel and the turbos get a lot of oil coking and what that is it's kind of like burning butter in a frying pan and you burn all this stuff and basically what happens it just keeps building up and it acts as an insulation the turbo doesn't get cooled and you just get hotter and hotter and your air density goes way, 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 way down, and you lose tons of horsepower, fuel mileage. And Tom already, ex we experimented with this when I gave him a couple of these bottles as little candies. I call these diesel candies, and it's like candy for your car. <laughs> I call it the closer. <laughs> I know. So Tom, tell them, what did these little candies feel like? Well, it's pretty amazing, to be honest with you. I, uh, I was having challenges with the, with the car, the... Uh, uh, the turbo wasn't working right it would stall out every now and then the engine uh, check engine light was on so anyway somehow or another we got into the conversation uh, after a yoga class and uh, he says here try these so he gave me three of the little bottles yep to put in the fuel and uh, we went I think we went to get a smoothie or something and uh, by the time we got back to the yoga studio the engine check engine light was off well that was pretty amazing in and of itself, but I also noticed the performance enhancement. So we, uh, I found out that uh, uh, Eben was a, a distributor, and uh, so we went and picked the next step, which is to uh, change out the oil and clean everything up even further. Uh, my mileage, by the way, uh, went from 10 to 12 uh, um, on the uh, freeway. Like I said, it wasn't working very well. But then uh, after doing this treatment, it uh, came to, uh, uh, what was it, 18.1 miles per gallon. Wow. Which, and there's That's an even a better part of this story, I'd been told by the dealer and a, and a specialist, the ejector specialist, it was going to cost $7,000 to fix this rig. Holy cow. <laughs> so now I think we're looking at a little bit less and uh, pretty excited. I'm excited too. So that's all we did was put in the diesel injector clean and lubricant and this lubricates the upper rings and it has cetane boost so it gives you more power better towing and now we're going to be doing the oil in a second after we start her up in idler and uh, we actually already put this in but it's up to you tom do you want to put another bottle in or do you already have it in um yeah i think i will go ahead and we'll put one all right in. so we'll throw one in we'll get video of you throwing one in how easy it is and on a big tank like this tom roughly how many gallons is this thing 50. this is a 50 gallon so you would run one full bottle of this cleaner as a maintainer, but if you want to do a super cleanup dosage, you'd run two bottles, and that would really clean it up. So we already did that on his truck, pretty much, and now he's throwing in the one bottle, and it takes a couple of seconds. Oh yeah, it doesn't take long at all. A gulp, a gulp, and that's it. It's that quick, so you do that every single time you fill up a full tank of uh, diesel. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go ahead and tap this little button, and then you're gonna see the notification bell. You're gonna go in here, you're gonna allow it, all the settings in the badge. You're gonna go back, and you're gonna click this bell, and you'll hit all notifications. That way you'll get a notification when I publish my next video. That way you can leave a comment on any of my videos within the first three hours and I randomly select people for the end of month giveaway. We give $100 gift cards away, all kinds of stuff. So we'll see you at the last Saturday of the month at the giveaway. All right, we start her up and we let her idle for 15 minutes. And now we're just gonna let her sit there. And what's happening is all this oil circulating and it's gonna loosen up all the sticky valves 
It helps clean clutches, quiets lifter noise, reduces oil consumption, because all that carbon doesn't allow the oil to seal the pistons. So that's it. We'll be back in 15 minutes. So when Tom went to pop the hood, it was really sticky, and it's normal. Everything rusts out, gets lots of corrosion. So we're going to be using the MP metal protector. This is a penetrating oil, and it disperses moisture, too, if you live in a very wet area. So go ahead, Tom, spray that metal. Just spray it all. Get it all lubed up and wet. Just keep shaking. Lubed up and yep. wet. Yep. That's what we say in the channel. The wetter, the better. And we also say if it ain't messy, it ain't fun. And if it ain't fun, it ain't messy. That's why the wetter, the better. And you can hit this little piece up there. Get a little, get that wet so it doesn't rust. Yep, you got it. And you can hit your hinges. If you want to hit the hinges and a couple little parts there. Yep, all that little stuff. And you can even hit the metal, the hardware right here, like stuff like that. So anything metal's good. So this is before. And this is after. And now we're gonna hit the serpentine belt as a maintainer to keep it lubricated and keep it from cracking, very important. So we got our silicone spray. Go ahead and spray that belt right here. Perfect. And the location's actually pretty easy. It's right there. And it's a little teeny weeny 13 millimeter bolt. Now, when we let this go, this oil's gonna come out like water because it's so hot. You got any rubber gloves? And, yep, I got some rubbers. And uh, it's also gonna come out quick. And it right. might splash a little. So you just wanna be quick at yanking out. Yep on the ground and there oh, she blows we're okay we're okay it's okay don't worry about it i'll get you some some uh some paper towels so there she blows she's coming out like water it looks like mud yeah <laughs> it's what we call artistic paint <laughs> so we'll let that sucker drain down and uh, we'll be cracking our filter in a second. All right, so we got some <laughs> profound discoveries. Is this this plate here, you mean? Yep, it's gonna be a little bit of a stickler to get this off to get to the oil filter, but it's okay. So we got one, two, three, 12 millimeter bolts. So we got our little well, we impact. One over here. Yep, and we got one up on mm -hmm. this side somewhere, I'm sure. I need an extension. It looks like there's one right up underneath over here. Yep, so we're gonna get to all this and take this plastic pan off. Easy access to the filter, and we're taking off our cheap, 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 cheap STP filter. And uh, it's a dribbler. And then just be ready for it. Once it lets go, it's just gonna, it'll be free, and you're not gonna know when it goes, so just be ready for it to let go and don't drop the filter. <laughs> It's like a baby. Whatever you do. Yep, it's like a baby. Don't drop the baby. <laughs> Boy, that thing threads for miles. Yeah, it does. Crazy. Okay, there she is. There's the baby, and then just set it in the pan. Uh, you good? You need me to pull the pan back a little? Yeah. Go ahead. There we go. Just set her down. Uh, you good? There, we go. there she blows. All right, it's that time to prime our oil filter. We're putting in our Max Duty Diesel Signature Series. The best of the best of the best of the best of the best up to six times more wear protection and what that does is it doesn't allow it to scuff the cylinder liner now if you don't know uh amsoil and why it's such a big deal 
It's actually the first in synthetic. So way back in 1972, uh, Alan Matuzio, the owner, went to, uh, you can uh, start filling that filter. We're actually going to prime it. And he went to uh, Texas and got AMSOIL certified. And uh, this was the first synthetic oil. And this is 100% synthetic. So this is the quality that would go into like a jet engine or a Formula One car, but it's built for this specific application. You can just poke it straight in. You might be able to talk to you about that jet engine part. Yeah. So that's actually how uh, Alan Matuzio found out about it. He goes, you know, they're using this synthetic stuff in these jets. He goes, why can't we put it in cars? So Al, as uh, constructive and creative, and creative, never take a no for an answer. He said, you know what, I'm going to do it myself. So he started in his own garage. He went to Pikes Peak, and uh, he did some tests with Bobby Unser on his hill climb car with some gear lube and all kinds of stuff. And then he kept developing and formulating. And now Amsoil makes oil specifically for each application. So this has anti-thickening additives uh, for soot thickening. It has a much higher film wear, wear additives for less cylinder scuffing. That keeps your compression. So now we're gonna prime our oil filter. And the oil filter is also special too. 99% efficiency at 20 microns. And uh, this filter is a huge upgrade over OEM and it's good for 25,000 miles. So you're good for the whole year, which is a real nice peace of mind. And it has uh, synthetic media that holds about four times more contaminants than cellulose paper filters. So there's your graph on the efficiency. And uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, slap on our filter and it'll be time to put in the liquid gold. This part we call putting honey on pancakes. Let's do it. Get it all messy and lube. There we go. The wetter, the better. And as we say in the channel, if it ain't messy, it ain't fun. And if it ain't fun, it ain't messy. That's why the wetter, the better. So now we're gonna be getting this sucker on there. Now, this does have an anti-slip uh, coating on it and it's really really good it's okay we'll clean it up and this has a nice texture to it and uh, that's what makes this filter such a big deal it's also thicker and it has an uh, upgraded anti drain back valve down in there and that drain back valve doesn't deform over the course of the year like a lot of of the cheaper lower quality filters so it's going to keep you protected during your cold start and uh, you'll have thousands and thousands of miles of joyous driving all right it's that time to put in the liquid gold you got the honors all right this is it we got 10 quarts going in and uh, this is the 10w30 and uh, this is amazing how this holds up with wear protection you definitely want to check it out and uh, i can't talk right now so beautiful so clean so pure <laughs> almost untouchable but it is you say even could you touch it of course ah feels good <laughs> the liquid gold how's that feel feels pretty good it's even better <laughs> i know <laughs> oh it's like honey on pancakes i'm coming next we got the your turn. Yep. It's time to go ahead and pop her in. Pop that little seal. Last time we had a shooter when I popped it. You gotta watch it. <laughs> we had one shoot on me. <laughs> and uh just feels so good doing this once a year. And this is good for uh double your OEM intervals. In some cases you can go quite a bit longer. And uh, we actually have some oil analysis with this oil at 46,000 miles and 80,000 miles. So definitely check those out up here in the corner. Just click on it right up there, you'll see that. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. All right, time for some driving impressions. Well, the impressions so far so good, man. Beyond good. Uh, Beautiful. Gotta be paying attention. Yeah, the pickup that seemed really good right there, the acceleration. Only 100,000 miles, that's nothing. 108, yep. Yeah. That's nothing. Well, the thing that was most impressive, like I said before, is that the, mile, the uh, miles per gallon has really increased just by putting in a little bit of the uh, fuel out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 
suction fluid too, right? Of course, of course. Oh, I'm gonna have to be doing that next, I think. Oh yeah, it's a must on these. Once you're at a hundred thousand, it's definitely time. Yeah. So so far, just in this half a mile we went, what is the biggest difference? Honestly, it's kind of weird, but the ride, the ride feels smoother. Wow, the whole truck is yeah. running smoother. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that and then, was. And then even after that, it's, just, it's much more uh, smooth as far as the gear change. Wow. Which that shouldn't have anything to do with an oil change, but. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Sushi? Yeah. Uh, I owe you a sushi dinner. All right, sounds good. All right, we're going to go back and check our oil level, and uh, we're going to give you the after idle of what it sounds like. That's the clip that was in the beginning of the video. So go back and watch that. That's what it sounds like before and after. We're going to make sure our oil levels are good, and man, this thing's running amazing. Wow. Yeah, awesome. Now, now I'm excited about taking another trip. Yeah, which I'm doing soon. I'm going down to Baja, which all this is important because you don't want to get stuck in Baja. <laughs> That'd be Believe sketchy. Holy Driving down cow. there out in the middle of We can of make it right here. All right. all right, well, we'll uh, see you back. Well, I'm sure we'll do a follow-up video, probably yeah. doing the trans fluid. And uh, man, I'm stoked. Me too. I'm stoked. This thing runs so good. Thanks, David. All right, you're the best. Thanks again. You're the best, all right. We'll see you back next time on Synthetic Oil Protection. Check out this playlist here in the middle on some cold flow tests. Check out this playlist up here on more engine flushes. And uh, check out those oil analysis videos. We'll see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers yeah. to protection, protection, protection. <laughs>